We've got all the wiring inside. Yeah, got cables here, another fan there. Whoa! <laughs> Guys, this has what? One, two, three, three, four, five. So that's fans at the front, doesn't it? Six fan, and there's a fan up here. unboxing videos you guys seem to really enjoy them and I might try and do a weekly series where we unbox one new item per week if possible you know I'll try and buy some awesome stuff that you want to buy and we'll do some unboxing so let me know what you want to see down below in the comments right now which type of items you want to see do you want to see gaming related stuff do you want to see PC related stuff please let me know but in today's video is all about PC gaming today we're unboxing my brand new computer case Cooler Master Trooper case it's honestly a beast of a machine. It's huge. Most of my unboxing videos, I try and like, put the box up here to show you guys how big it is compared to me. And I'll probably show you that in a bit because it's currently sitting on my bed. Taking up half the bed. It's it's massive. It's a massive, massive case. And it can support up to like 16 hard drives. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. My current PC case is quite small. But no, it's uh, going to be awesome. So if you do enjoy today's video, then be sure to give it a massive thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below your thoughts regarding today's unboxing let me know what you guys want to see because i really do enjoy this kind of stuff i don't know it's just it's for me i enjoy unboxing videos and to have the opportunity to unbox in front of you guys is amazing so yeah without further ado let's go and unbox this rather big computer case damn this thing's heavy so here is the box, like I said, it's very massive indeed. Pretty much takes half my size of my bed. Pretty huge indeed. Anyway, this is the Cooler Master CM Storm, the Trooper case. It looks actually like a beast. Look, there's actually like troopers here from like the army or some military or whatever. But I really like the lights at the front of it. That looks pretty cool. You know, obviously you've got two USB ports and two amazing fans at the front. And obviously you can fit an SSD in there. And it says high speed USB 3.0 and 2.5 inch SSD support. And yeah, it looks pretty cool. Let's turn this guy over. So this is actually, uh, it's a bit of a manual labor process. It's such a big case. Anyway, right, so here on the back, if I bring it a little bit closer, oh, if I bring it a little bit closer for you guys. So we have rear opening support water cooling. Fantastic. I just did an unboxing video on my liquid cooling. And well, water cooling could be something for the future, but this case does support water cooling. We also have one top 200 millimeter fan provides excellent cooling performance. Cable management holes with gommets. Is that it? Gommets? For better cable routing and a cleaner look. We then obviously have the front, which is a Two front 120 millimeter red LED fans that provide superior HDD slash SSD cooling. We then have the first full tower with two removable and 90 degree rotatable four and three HDD modules. You also have dust filters. That's the first for me. Dust filters on bottom and top intake. So unfortunately, this has been damaged by delivery. But what it says is Storm Guide protects your peripherals by securing them to the body of the PC. And it says a nine plus one expansion slots to support up to four-way SLI crossfire. Whoa! Four-way SLI crossfire. That's, that's a beast of a machine. Also says here at the very bottom, the first full tower with two removable and 90 degree rotatable 4-in-3 HDD modules. Easy to carry. Room for future upgrades, which I am intending to do. Also has convenient external 2.5 inch HDD SSD x dot Supports high-end hardware. And man, this guy is a beast. I believe this case supports up to, I think, 14 hard drives. So yeah, it says up to 13 hard drives here for future. However, you can install one already and a few others. So I think it's about 14 hard drives in total, which is a beast of a machine. And you know me editing and stuff, I do need the hard drive space. So right, so this is the case. Well, this is the back of it. On the front, you're not really missing much. On the front, it just says trooper back to front 
with Cooler Master and CM Storm. Around the other side, we have some specifications here. So some of you might be interested here. Uh, I'll probably leave this in the description for you guys, but to give you guys a brief overview on some of the main important points. We have weight 13.7 kilos, which is rather heavy. So if you guys don't use kilos, it's 30.2 pounds, which is very heavy indeed. Uh, we got 10 expansion slots. We have 13 2.5 drive bays, 8 3.5 drive bays, or 9 5.25 drive bays, which is crazy, crazy, crazy. Massive cooling system, pow it, it's crazy, crazy. I will leave all the specs down below in the description, but right, let's turn this guy over. And I don't know the best way to unbox this. Uh, I'm guessing, probably, if we leave it like this, oh, it's heavy, right. So if I, so if I turn it this way, and then I go and get my wonderful scissors, which should do the job, right. So let's go and, oh, my hand is stuck in the scissors. What a, what a professional unboxing there, man. Using scissors, which you can't use, right. Anyway, so let's do this. I do love this sound. Okay, I think that, is that open? Oh. Oh, right, okay. So let's go and, oh, open that way, and, oh, it's always one, it's always one, which you're, you're expecting to, to do, and, oh, there we go, eventually, it is open, right, so here it is, let's go and open this guy up, right, okay, this might be a two-man job, this, right, so we've got some padding here, some padding here, sounds like the case is there, how am I gonna, like, okay, I think the best way is if I do this, Okay, and let me see if I can, um, I don't know, one leg on the bed type thing, and maybe, oh, it's coming, the box is giving birth, All right, is it out, almost, is it a boy or a girl yet, can we find out, oh, oh. Whew. All right, okay, Nothing inside the box, so it might keep that for storage, but put that to one side. And here it is! Here it is! I don't know if it's a boy or a girl, let me know what you guys think. But what is the bottom? Okay, that's the bottom, that's the feet. So let's go and lift this up this way. Um, let's go this way, move it. That is how I dance on the dance floor. Moving it like side to side. There we go. Oh, there we go, right. That's it guys, that, the unboxing's finished now. <laughs> I'm only joking, right. So let's go and pull this side off. Oh, I think this is the back end, maybe. And if I pull this side off. Oh, I think this is the front. We get some information. Are you going to stay? Okay, you're going to stay. Just gives me some information regarding this. Uh, Cooler Master, user manual. You can get this in white, which is that colour there. So you can get it in black or white. I went for black simply for dust reasons and just for, you know, probably just easier to maintain. Because there's a bunch of information on how to install this. This is going to be interesting, but it's a quick guide. It does say quick guide. Well, it actually says user manual. It's actually not a quick guide. So I'm guessing it probably will take some time to do this. But anyway, throw the instructions away. We don't really need those. Now it's time to release the machine. If you've ever seen a video when someone buys a brand new car from a dealership, or you might have bought a brand new car from a dealership, they like to put some cloth over, and they want you to wait for your reaction. So this is my first time seeing it with you guys. Are you ready? I don't even know which way we're facing. I think, that, I, okay, I'm facing the back. You guys can see some of it already. Oh, wow. Oh, my days. Wow, the feel of this PC is, oh, it's so smooth. That's the inside. Because it has a glass panel. I forgot. Right. Okay, turn this over. Oh, guys, you, um, you might be ready for this. Hope you are. Look at the top of this PC. Look how amazing it is. So this, oh, no way. I actually thought that would be. That's the turn on button. <laughs> and then we've got a few other buttons up here. We've got reset, USB, USB. This is for the SSD. What's, wow. This all lights up as well. You've got a handle up here, which is cool. And then you also have, if I move it slightly, oh. You might, you might be able to hear some stuff rattling in the back. It does say trooper because we are a trooper. All uh, right, move it around to the back. Oh, right. it's quite heavy actually. This side here, is that meant to be, oh. Oh, I think we found a boo-boo. I don't think this is meant to be dented. Hmm. Yeah, like, do you guys... That's not meant to be dented, is it? Like, there. That is not meant to be dented, is it? There. So there is the damage, and what I might do is I might, I might contact Cooler Master and just say, Hey guys, I've bought this. I've just opened it, and this is damaged. Everything else seems to be fine, so I don't think I really need to return this. Hopefully they can just send me a replacement of one of those. I'm not really too fussed. It's fine, but it's just, you know... 
kind of a bummer, I guess. Okay, so we turn it over to the back. Here is the back of the machine. So we have a Cooler Master fan. Looks very big indeed. All our wonderful slots. Wow. How do, how do we open this? How do we open this? Because obviously we want to see the inside. Do I have to unscrew this? I'm guessing I do. I'm guessing I've got a... Okay, I can't screw it with my hands. Okay, what I'll do... Actually, we don't need to worry about this side. It's about this side, actually. So let's turn over this side. Okay, let me go and get a screwdriver, and I will unscrew this to show you the inside of the PC. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting, and they had to hire a new one. So I found this wonderful orange screwdriver, which should do... It, uh, it has seen better days, but it should do the trick. Right, so let's go over here. These, these screws do look... Okay, now we can do it by hand. These screws actually... Do look pretty fancy, right? So do that. Do the bottom one. But yeah, kind of unfortunate how we got a bit of a dent. Maybe that's from the packaging, or I don't know, or someone from quality control didn't really, I don't know, see it? I don't know. I mean, it's not too much of a big deal. Um, I'll speak to my computer friend and see if it's like a problem. I don't think it is. Right. Oh, it's, oh, oh, oh. okay. I, I'm, I was trying to do a better <laughs> opening there, but I think it just sort of just fell. Right, here is the case, can you see? with the plastic on, put it to one side. And I shall show you what's inside the case. Right, so we've got another two Beast fans, which is crazy, crazy, crazy in terms of what we have. So we've got another two Beast fans. We've got all the wiring inside. Yeah, we've got cables here, another fan there. Whoa, oh, guys, this has what? One, two, three. Three, four, five. So that's fans at the front, doesn't it? Six fans, and there's a fan up here. Like, I don't know if I can show you. I'll try and show you, but... Hey, can you see this fan? That fan there? Wow, that's amazing, right. So there we have it. What I'll do is I will screw this guy back on. Oh, there's something in here. Oh, that's, um, like, is there a bit of wood in here? A wood? Wood? Cardboard. It's kind of unfortunate that that thing's slightly damaged, but hopefully I can just contact Call of Master and just say, hey guys, blah, blah, blah. But, but no, look. Fans? Fans? Awesome, awesome. So if you have enjoyed today's video, then be sure to give it a massive thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below your thoughts regarding the brand new computer case, the Trooper. It's massive, but feels amazing, looks amazing. Only downside is that little bit of a damage, but hopefully we can get that replaced. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, see you guys in my next video. Adios, chaps. Boom!